Hello, I'm Stan Smith. This is a shortened version of a video I did called Art with a Story Behind It. This video is mainly the resin work. There will be a link to the full video at the end of this one. Time for some colors. I'm using my go-to Marine Pro two-part epoxy. Mix equal parts hardener and resin. And I gotta tell you, things did not go as planned. Everything started out okay, but what's a story without some suspense, right? I could tell right away my resin was cold. My shop was cold. I even broke my stirring stick, but I did not give up. I stuck to my plan best I could. I'm using acrylic paint and some mica powder and a tiny amount of glitter. Notice how white the resin is? That's tiny bubbles. Here I'm pouring the two lighter colors into one cup and the two darker colors into another cup and then simply pour them out. I could tell right away it was not flowing out the way it normally does. At this point I wasn't even sure that it would set up properly. But no sense in giving up now. So I resorted to manually spreading it out and hoping for the best. It did take an extra day to set up, but I think it's all good. I never thought I would want to finger paint with epoxy resin, and I still don't recommend it. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Next step, making the moon. The moon is a reoccurring theme in my artwork. I think this one is number five. I've done white moons, a yellow moon, a copper moon, now this blue moon. Traditionally, blue moon is not referring to its color, but its rarity. But you probably already knew that. Typically, we have 12 full moons a year, but approximately every two and a half years, we get a 13th full moon. So the real question to me is, which of the 13 full moons is the blue moon? I know some say the third, or the, some say the second, or it's the second of two that fall in the same month. You know what? I like the idea that there is an actual blue moon. So I made this one. You didn't know this was going to be an interactive story, did you? We need to decide where to put the moon and the skull. So what do you think? How about that? Okay, good. And you've probably noticed I have painted the coyote and the rock cliff black. I just used some spray paint for that. You know how most stories have a happy ending? Well, at least any story I would want to hear does. But you know how sometimes something happens and you're just not sure how things can end well? Well, here's one of those times. I have never done this before. I'm fixing to dip this in resin. I'm really hoping this is one of those times when my imagination and my skills come together. So far, so good. I'm pretty happy with the night sky. I think a top coat of clear resin will really give it a nice look. It will also blend the moon into the night sky. I'm removing the tape border now. This method has a lot of resin runoff and this helps keep it to a minimum. I'm going to use a different method altogether for the hot desert sunrise. I have made a temporary mold because this time my resin is warm. It will run all over the place and I need it to stay in place so I can manipulate it in order to make the sun. Of course, this will require some extra steps. Hopefully it will all be worth it. So one of those extra steps is getting it out of the mold after it is set up for a couple of days. And then using my router again, I round off all the edges and lightly sand it. 
Of course, sanding it makes it dull, so a final thick coat of resin will bring it back to life. People that see my work in person often think it's glass, and I take that as a compliment, even though it's the resin that looks like glass, not me. Some assembly required. I'm pretty happy with the way these came out. Now I realize it's a very small group of people that would want to hang these in their home. But still, I'm thinking about asking $350 for the set. I would appreciate any comments on the price, the art, the video, the weather, whatever. And you could subscribe to my channel. It's free. Just click on the picture of the really good-looking young man at the end of the video. Till next time, God bless.